Good morning everyone, it's Lucinda here at Peak Wildlife Park again. Um, so welcome back to Wake Up Wild. Um, this morning I have managed to steal a couple of feeds from the keepers. So before they do their rounds and give the breakfast, I've managed to take a few from them. Um, so I'm going to give you guys the choice of who we go and feed this morning. So I've got the meerkats breakfast or I have got the African Village Goats and Sheep Breakfast. So you let me know who you want to go and feed this morning um, and I will grab that food and we will start making our way up there. But also let me know if there is anybody else that you want to go and see this morning so we can go and feed some breakfast to either our goats and sheep or our meerkats. But after that, just let me know who you want to go and see and we can take a little wander around and meet some of the other animals. So while a few more people are joining, um, I'll say hello to who we've got. So we've got hi to James, hi to Stephen. We've got Mike just wandering past here. <laughs> hi to Georgina, hi to Amanda, hi to Kerry, who's one of our supporters, and baby Albert. I promise I'm not crying, guys. It's just a bit cold out here this morning. So good morning to Irene, good morning to Becky, good morning to... Nessie, good morning to Stephen, Maureen, Sue, Helen, Emma, thank you so much for joining this morning. So as I said before, I've got either the sheep or goats breakfast or I've got the meerkat breakfast. So let me know who you want to go and give breakfast to and I'll grab that food and we will start making our way up. So we've got a few people saying meerkats, a few people saying goats, so I'll let a few more people decide who they want to go and see. So good morning to Nessie and Anita. Let us know if you're watching this morning, guys. Give us a little wave. So hi to Belle and Georgina. Hi to Jaden. Thank you so much for joining us. As I said before, I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening this morning. My eyes are just watering so much. I promise I'm not crying. I'm very happy this morning. Just got uncontrollable tears coming out of my eyes. So sorry about that, guys. Hi to Dawn. Hi to Fiona. Hi to Yaz. Hi. <laughs> Hi to Jane, Laura, hi to Miles and Finley, hi to Johnny. So I think Meerkats has tipped it. So I will go into the kitchen and grab the Meerkat food and we will start making our way up there. So we'll go and see our Meerkats this morning first thing, give them some breakfast, but let us know who you want to go and see after that guys. Um, so we can go and see our goats and our sheep, but I haven't got the breakfast with me or I can take you up to the other side, we can meet our rabbits, or we can go past our zebra paddock, or we can go and meet the deer. So let me know who it is you want to go and see, who you've been missing the most, and we will make our way around this morning. So good morning to Isabel and Tasha, thank you so much for joining us. Hi to Becky, hi to Nikki, Sarah, Laura, hi to Yvonne. We've got a few of our supporters this morning. So thank you. I think we lost connection a little bit there. Sorry about that, guys. So thank you for becoming our supporters on Facebook. It means so much. It's a really good way that you can help support us as we're closed. And it means that you guys get some exclusive content as well. So you get to find things out a little bit earlier. Um, you'll get some exclusive content just for yourselves. Um, and you'll get early bird access to like offers and events that we're running here at the park. So. If you do, if that sounds good to you guys, then please just head onto our Facebook page and become a supporter and you'll get a little badge as well. So we'll make sure I'll give you a shout out if you're watching our live videos. So hi to Tammy, hi to Anastasia, hi to Alison, hi to Sarah and Emma. So I will make my way into the meerkat. So I might have to steal a key off somebody. I've forgotten my keys this morning. So Sinead's here to save the day, to give me a key. So <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> Not been a good morning this morning. My eyes are tearing up. I've forgotten my keys. Sorry about this, guys. I promise I'll make up for it. There we go. So it's a little bit tight in here, so sorry if the camera is getting thrown all over the place. So 
so they're waiting for their breakfast here this morning. It'll be funny when I fall over in a moment. <laughs> so I'll spread it out a little bit so these guys all get a chance to get some breakfast themselves. I'll get it all out for them and I'll put the bowl down so they can pick the last few bits out themselves. So this morning they've got for their breakfast so they've got a mix of different things so they've got some cat biscuits, they've got some fruit and vegetables so I think I can see some apple in there, some carrots. So they're enjoying a nice yummy breakfast this morning so if you're having your breakfast let us know what you've got. If it's the same as our meerkats, have you got some fruit and veg this morning? I don't think you'll have cat biscuits. <laughs> but let us know what you are enjoying for your breakfast this morning. So we've got a few people saying they'd love to see the deer. So let us know who you want to go and see after these guys. So hi to Lydia, Rose and Harriet. Hi to Kira and Charlie. Hi to Isaac and Kelly. Hi to Sarah and hi from James. Hi to Emily and Sophie. Unfortunately, we don't have red pandas here, I'm afraid. But yeah, I've got lots of other cool animals that I can take you around to see. So a few people saying deer as well, a few people saying penguins. So I'm sure I can sweep past the penguins on our way to the deer, if that's what you guys want to do. So hi to Karen and Georgina. Hi to Alex. Hi to Kelly, thank you. I'm trying to stay as warm as possible. Hope you guys are all staying warm as well. It is very, very cold at the minute. So hi to Betty, Florence. Hi to Emma, Trinity and Kane. Emma and Ruby, thank you so much for joining us. We've got quite a lot of people here this morning. So hi to Connor and Megs, hi to Amanda. If you've got any questions on my way around as well, guys, make sure that you can just pop these into the comments and I'll try my best to answer. So I think somebody was asking for their names a little bit earlier. So we have got a few different meerkats in here. So we've got Layla, we've got Derek, we've got Lorraine, we've got River. Um, I'm not the best at naming, but if I bump into a keeper, I will definitely ask but I know the ways that you tell them apart. Um, oh, we've also got George as well. We've got George the meerkat. So there's slight little differences that you can tell between them. So some will be in darker coloration to the rest of them. Some of them have sort of different, different shaped heads than the others. So one of our meerkats has quite got, got quite a boxy looking head. Um, and the others are quite rounded. So if one of them comes up to the camera, you'll be able to see what I mean. Perfect model there for me. I'm sure she understood what I was saying then. So Tammy's saying wallabies. So I'm sure we can take a little wander up there as well. So we've got Julie. Nina says, are the meerkats very resilient? Yes, they are. They are indeed. So they work really well as the little family unit. So as you can see over there on the top of the rock over here, we have got one of our meerkats on sentry duty. So their job at the moment, while these guys are enjoying their breakfast, he is sort of keeping his eye out to make sure that there's no dangers, um, no one's gonna get harmed. Um, if, he, if there was a danger that arose, he would make a call to the rest of the meerkats and they would very quickly disappear into their little holes and into their indoor housing to make sure that they are all safe. So hi to Charlotte and Becky. Also asking to see the penguins, so I'll take a little walk past them. So Andy asking, do they like the cold weather? So I've got a very cheeky make at the moment that's just trying to climb onto my head. So they are very mischievous little fellas. Anything new into the enclosure, they'll be straight over to see what it's all about. I think he's just slid down my back now. <laughs> so they are very cute, very cheeky as well. So, hi to Lily, who's just joined us. Hi, 
So going back to Andy's question, do they like the cold weather? They don't particularly love the cold weather. They will, as you can see here, there is snow on the ground and they're still outside running around. Um, so they don't mind it at all. But some days you will come up and they've got a heat lamp in their indoor housing. So some days they will, they'll just decide that they don't want to come outside. Um, I'm not sure if some of you watched our um, videos before Christmas. We gave these guys some Christmas presents with some treats inside and they were not interested at all. So it didn't make for a great live video, I'm afraid. Um, but they just, we opened up the door so you guys could see them inside and they were just all huddled together underneath the heat lamp. So it's entirely up to them. Sometimes they're they want to come outside sometimes they're not too bothered i think quite a few of them have gone back inside now to be honest but we've got i can see three in total at the moment so hi to emma same penguin then deer so i'm sure that's what we'll do and then maybe we'll end on the wallabies but let me know if there is anybody else that you'd like to go and see so hi to alice and rose how many are in our meerkat group, Kim's asking. So I think we've got seven meerkats all together at the moment. And we used to have a breeding male and female. So who we've got at the moment. So we've got mum and we've got all her young. So we've got the brothers and sisters. So they are a cute little family we've got here. So Holly is saying penguins. So hi to Margaret as well. Amanda's saying, are there any babies? So we haven't got any baby meerkats. We did a few years ago. So as I just said, a lot of these in here are now brother and sister. Um, they were born here at the park a few years ago, two or three years ago now. So Camilla is saying tapirs. Um, we do have tapirs. I won't be going up there today, I'm afraid. It is the other side of the park. However, on our next live videos, I'm sure I can take you up that side and we can go and see our black nosed sheep we've got up there. And um, we've got our tapir up there. Um, we've got our male alpaca. So I can take you in to see Zach. Um, he's a very cheeky chappy as well. So I can take you to meet those guys maybe next week. Um, so I think this week, if we go to our penguins and then our deer maybe, and maybe wallabies. So Sarah's saying hello, we miss coming to the park. Please can we see the rabbits and the penguins? Love Nellie and Hudson. Thank you for joining us all. So I think we are nearly the end. Everybody's disappeared, I think. So they've they've enjoyed their breakfast and now they've gone back into their warm house to get all warm again. We've just got a couple of stray meerkats out here. <laughs> still seeing if they can find any other treats so we'll leave these guys to finish off their breakfast and what we will do is we will start making our way round to our deer oh no we'll go past penguins first and then we will go to our deer enclosure so you guys can see our deer so hi to cj the cat thank you for watching and hi to christopher as well Hi to Donna, Holly and Tracy who have just joined us. So give me a wave if you're watching so I can give you guys a shout out. And if you've got any questions, then please pop those into the comments below as well. So we've got Shunad here. So I did say if I saw a keeper, I would ask for all the names of the meerkats. I tried to get a few. So I got Derek, River, George, yeah. Lorraine, yeah. that was it, I'm afraid. Layla, Layla. Sid. yeah, <laughs> there we go. There you go, guys. I hope I answered your questions from earlier. <laughs> and now we're gonna go and see some penguins. Thank you, Shanad. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> so hi to Emma and Trinity. Hi guys. <laughs> So we've got, so Kim's actually realised that we have got tapirs. So yeah, they are currently, if you do visit the park, unfortunately they're off show. But actually, because you can't come here and we're doing lots of these live videos, I can take you for a little sneaky tour up to the other side of the park and take you onto our off show area. So you can meet our tapirs. They are absolutely adorable. We've got three all together. So we've got Millie, we've got George and 
we have got Tia. There are three tapirs. So I'm sure one day next week I can take you up there to meet those. So we're just at our penguins at the minute. So they're all on the beach this morning. And as you can see, we have actually put our nest boxes in now. So last week we said we're getting close to breeding season. So we've actually popped our nest boxes in now. So these guys can start pairing up and they can start going into their nest boxes. Um, yeah, and basically what they'll do first is they'll just pair up. Some of these guys already have pairs that they've been with for the past few years at, here at the park. Um, but some of them are not still paired up. So this year we might have a few new pairs that decide they want to have some little baby penguins as well. So Tanya's asking, can we see the dick dick? So possibly when we go up and see our tapir, I can nip in and we can see our dick dick as well. So hi to Christopher and Alison. Hi to Emma and Beavers from Kane. Hi to Fiona. So the tapirs are from Camilla's home country, Brazil. That's really cool. So thank you for joining this morning. So as you can see this morning, these guys are not too interested in going into the pool at the moment. So what they'll do is they'll wait until they've had their breakfast. And then once they've had their breakfast, they'll go for a little swim to clean off. So I'm sure the keepers will be going in shortly to give them their breakfast this morning. And then they'll all be going for a little swim round. At the moment, just chilling on the beach. They're starting to look at the nest boxes so i can see one of the penguins at the back quite inquisitive is going over to just check out the nest boxes so they are quite they've been only been in a couple of days so some of these penguins won't have seen these nest boxes before on actually they will have i take that back when they were very very young babies so they've been taken away and then put back into their enclosure this year so it's a bit of a change for them and hopefully we'll start see, seeing some of our penguins pair off soon and deciding which, which nest box they want to go into. So that would be really, really cool and we'll keep you guys updated along the way as well. We'll let you know what pairs we're getting. But we will leave it there and we will start making our way around to our deer enclosure now. And we'll see where they are up to, see if they've had their breakfast this morning or if they're still waiting for theirs. So what our keepers will do is they'll grab all of their feeds in the morning and they will take them round to the different animals. They'll make their way round. They've got their own little routines. Um, so they'll do it in their own order. And unfortunately, I didn't really know that order. So if we meet anyone along the way, we'll see if we can jump on and see who they're going to meet and see who they're feeding. So I think Shonad was going up towards the lemurs and we are going to head around and see the deer because that's who you guys wanted to see. So it looks as though they're along the fence side and they have had their breakfast this morning. So they've been thrown there. What these guys get is a browser pallet because they are browsers. So they'll always just graze on grass and browse on the trees. So these guys have a browser pallet, which means it's got all the nutrients in that they need. And this is just thrown over the fence to these guys along the fence line so they all get an ample amount of feed so we've got simon the stag coming over and this is one of our adult females as well so staggy's right at the back So give us a little wave if you've just joined us this morning, guys. So hi to Amy, Patrick, Georgie. Hi to Irene. Hi to Stephen, Laura. If you've got any questions as well, guys, if you want a shout out, then pop that into the comments. And I will give you guys a shout out. So we've got, good morning to Laura, good morning to Georgia, saying she absolutely loves the deer. I love the deer as well. So these are a couple of our younger deer, so you can tell by the size difference. 
So as I said, this is one of our younger deer. I think she was born last year in 2020. So you can see the size difference between the adult females. So yeah, quite a size difference. So I'll take you over. Oh no, Staggy has moved now. So he's just at the back over there. So we've got Gemma asking, do we have any drafts? We don't, unfortunately. Um, but we have got, so I took you to see the penguins. We have got lemurs. Um, as I said, we've got some tapirs off show. We've got a lot of cool different animals, but unfortunately it's not giraffes, I'm afraid. So hi to Charlie, hi to Belle. Hi to Jan and Tony. Hi to Joanne, hi to Karen. So I've got Staggy actually coming right up to the camera. So I absolutely love Staggy's eyes. He's got the most gorgeous eyes. And he knows it. So this little guy actually came to us. He was hand reared um, where he was born. So he came from, I think it was, I want to say somewhere in Germany these guys came from. So we'll start taking a little walk round to our wallabies as well. Cause I know some of you wanted to see our wallabies. But we'll say goodbye to these guys and let these guys carry on enjoying their breakfast. So as I was saying, Staggy actually came to us. He's he was a hand reared male. And he is very friendly, so he'll come right up to the fence and he loves attention off people. Some of you might have noticed when you've come to the park before and if you're with our deer, that Staggy will be right up to the fence wanting to say hello to you. Um, he is very, very, he's a big softy. Um, but I absolutely love his eyes. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous deer. So hi to Izzy and Steve and Lexi. Hi to Sadie and Dexter. Hi to Sally. Good morning to Hattie and Leah. Good morning to Taylor. Good morning to Christopher. So Taylor and Joanna saying they love Fridays. Thanks to you. So thank you very much. It means so much that you guys are enjoying these videos and that you guys are supporting us as well. So it really is quite touching and we'd love to see your guys support. So hi to Harrison. So Tanya's saying, please could you say good morning to her daughter Ava, who's three. So they love watching these videos and they love watching the lemurs and the meerkats sorry i'm just taking a while reading the message i'm not just staring at the screen i'm not frozen either so hi to kim and callum hi to tiggy hi to harrison so we'll make our way up to our wallabies have a little catch up with these and i think we will leave it there for this morning guys um but let us know so if there's anybody else you're missing so as i said before we've got lemurs we've got zebra we've got alpacas we've got mara bear with me one second I'm locked out this morning locked out of everywhere so we're gonna have to take a another another route round to our wallabies this morning I have to put you guys down. There we go, hopefully we'll be able to get in now. So good morning to Sharon. So we've got Laura asking who is the bear. So it's our Cameroon sheep in the Lima walkthrough. So if some of you visited before we closed in between the lockdowns, we have put some of our Cameroon sheep into our Lima walkthrough. Just helping to keep the grass down and it's good for those guys as well. A little bit different. Um, Sadie's asking how is a goat with one eye? So how is Phantom? There's so many locks this morning. <laughs> So she's really good. She's up with our black nosed sheep. Absolutely loving life. She's so cute and adorable. So when we go up that way next week, 
then we'll we'll bob into our black nose sheet and, and phantom as well so she's really good at the moment so hi to helen great to see the animals in the park thank you hi to liz good morning so i'm just in with our wallabies at the moment so we've got our albino wallaby over there so we've got rex just right in front of the camera there so okay, good morning to Maria as well. Good morning to Refa. So as you can see, these guys are really active this morning and that is because they haven't had their breakfast yet. So they're waiting for the keeper to come around and give them their breakfast. So I think they thought I had it. So I bet they're very disappointed that I've not got their breakfast with me, but the keepers will be around shortly to give them their breakfast. So don't worry about that guys. So Pam's asking, how do pads cope with frozen ground? So these guys are actually all good with, they absolutely love the snow. Um, they're always hopping around in the snow. They sometimes just lie down in it as well. So these guys absolutely love it. And we've also got our houses just over there in case they do want to go inside. So they've got nice big beds in there that they can go and get warm in. So as I said before, we've actually got Shaned coming up. I think she's got their food. I was like, I bet they were so disappointed when I came in. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's all right. So I'll give these guys some food. Come on then. So Camilla's asking, am I a keeper? I'm not, I'm afraid. So I'm helping, obviously, whilst we are closed at the moment, I'm helping the keepers out um, a few days a week. Um, but I'm also, I work in the office and run the social media, so the posts and different things like that, I do all that on Facebook, Instagram, and like I say, helping the keepers out, obviously now while we're closed, and I get to go out and enjoy the animals as well, which is really cool. So I'm sorry if I don't all know all the answers to your questions but I will try my best to find out for you guys. And if we see any keepers, if you have got any questions, then I'll ask those. I do know some things as well, but I don't know all of the, all of the things that the keepers will know. Um, so hi to Colin. So Karen's asking how old are they? So we've got a few different ages with our wallabies. Um, we've got a few that are quite young that were born last year here at the park. So you can see the size difference again. So this wallaby right here next to me is quite little. And then Rex, who is a few years old, so he's about four or five now. He is much larger than the rest of them. Um, so all the wallabies as well, we've bred between, we've got a sister park down in Wales. So some of these guys were, bred, were born down there. And then we have brought them up here and a few of ours have gone down there as well. These guys are now enjoying their breakfast this morning. So, Laura's saying that we're doing amazing job. Thank you very much. Like I say, it's amazing to hear off of you guys and it's really nice to know that you're enjoying these videos. So, Becky is asking how high can they jump? These guys can jump very high. Our fence, the, our fence is about a four foot fence. So, they can't get over that, obviously. Otherwise, our fence would have to be higher but they can jump if they really want to. They don't do it all the time, um, but when they need to, they can jump quite high. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear it as well as me here, but listening to these little guys crunching away on their breakfast is just adorable. So Wendy's asking what do they eat? So these guys are also, they'll graze on the grass. So they're grazers majority of the time. But what they've got here is we've got some macropod. So this is a circular one. So it's a pellet that's specifically made for these guys. So it's got all of the nutrients in that they need. And the other pellet that we give them is this one. And this is a grass pellet. Um, so as I said before, they eat a lot of grass. Obviously this time of year, it is much harder to get to the grass for them especially when it's snowy and the grass doesn't have all the nutrients at this time of year so we give them this grass pellet just to make up for that 
um, so that'll fluctuate at different times of the year as well um, but it's just sort of a bulk a bulk to bulk up their diet a little bit and um, so it doesn't actually add too much to their diet but it's just it just um, bulks it out a little bit so the most important one that they get is the macropod so hi to Rachel hi to Georgina hi to Rose and Khalif thank you for joining us so if you've got any questions about these I'll try my best to answer answer them for you but as I say if I don't know the answer I'll run and try and find a keeper as fast as I can and ask them for you um, but thank you so much for joining us so I think we will leave it there today guys um, thank you again I keep saying thank you so much but it does mean so much to all of us here at the park that you guys are supporting us and loving the live videos and um, we can't wait to welcome you back when we can open and as soon as we have information about that we will pop it on our social media for you to keep you all updated but thank you so much for joining us and our next live videos will be the same time next week so mondays and fridays for wake up wild and tuesdays for our training videos so next tuesday we have got our goat training so we're going to be doing some agility with our goats so come and see that that should be quite fun and our mondays and fridays is going to be up to you guys so i'm sure i can sort it out so maybe on monday we'll go to the other side of the park to meet some of our different animals but i'll leave it up to you guys as well so we'll see you on monday at nine o'clock and thank you so much for joining us